J.D. Bergman. Always very long-winded, but I like it. I don't think we need to keep bringing that up. Okay. What ups? Uh, how do you... Travel's already a, a bronze medalist. Yeah. 2011 in Istanbul. How does J.D. Bergman bring home a world medal this year? He's a bronze medalist in Denmark. Denmark? I'm sorry. Uh, last two years he got fifth, which was heartbreaker after heartbreaker. Not to remind everybody, but people should know these things anyways. What was your question? Wow, I feel like Joe no, Flo. Not, I not feel like you. Joe Flo followed that. Uh, not not this you. This is our exit. You, you know some. Okay, sorry. 29. I messed up. I messed that up. Sorry. No, I just corrected for the audience. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't know that. I just I made a uh, mistake. Wow, the year that you beat Tamezov, you did medal. No, because I, I told wow. you. I told clinch, you. Clinch, I told clinch, you. Clinch, remember clinch, when? Clinch. Uh, yeah, yeah. When I Jack Maneka. Yes, and that's why you couldn't. You were wrestling like, like. Uh, Yes, he yeah. couldn't. What he couldn't wrestle, he, he couldn't was wrestle. down blocking. And that was also the, that was unfortunately also the tournament. This is this has nothing to do with with uh, you know this was just bad bad circumstances. But that was also the tournament where I, I went 0 for six on ball draws. That's right. No more of those. No more ball draws. No more, no more ball draws. Yeah. JD, how do you how do you medal this year? 2013. You were one and one in 2009. Yeah. Um, 2010. I think the big... Was it 2010? 2010, yeah. How do I mess um, this up? That's all right. Hey, They're just semantics, that was right? The best of us, yeah. Just semantics. Sure. Hey, no, and exactly wait, that wait, question wait, as well. Take it right here. Oh, right. right. Okay, good. Um, yep. I would say the biggest thing is just uh, the mental side of wrestling. Everyone there, most everyone there at the World Championships um, knows how to wrestle. They're very good and gifted. Um, but I think who's there ready mentally and, um, you know, what training and preparation has been put into the, put in is can't do anything at that day so really it's mental and, and uh, limiting yeah, it's the same thing anyone any junior high kid would answer how do you win you know just limiting mistakes and trying to wrestle with your best foot forward and get after it staying healthy yeah staying healthy is part of it and that's uh, not really in my control but I'm everything that I can control I'm trying to do correctly Turbo how do you medal um, wrestle yeah same thing I mean I think that you know the world championships you know in a weight class going in is, is you know a big part of it is waking up and I mean it's it's one day it's waking up and being the guy that day so I mean I I think that preparation has to be tight uh, everything I mean like JD said mentally just just believing in, in, in the plan that you've set for yourself believing that you can win going out and I think really letting yourself let yourself let go let yourself be free and you know, let it fly, you know, kind of back to basics, you know, have fun and just enjoy the experience. I feel like this year I, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I've, I've been, it's been kind of set up, you know, the last couple years, you know, I've made a couple teams that, you know, I expect to make the team, expect to be the guy, you know, try to pump yourself up, I'm a world champion, which but this year I really feel like, you know, all that's, all that's true, but just because of the health issues I had, I really feel blessed to be on the team. I really feel excited. I really feel, um, I just, I'm just really excited to see, to see what I can do. You know, I'm, I'm approaching it from a, from a, you know, world champ, Lord willing, but I'm just excited to, about the, wrestle the new rules. It's going to be more wrestling. It's going to be less chance. It's going to be, you know, fun positions and we're going to scrap. So I'm, I'm just really, really excited. The, the loss to Don Bradley in the, the U.S. Open Finals. And then he gets popped for a banned substance that's not really, a, uh, whatever. But with that thing, what did you learn anything from that? You know, Dom's not in the picture then for you to wrestle in the, to, yeah. to have to wrestle in the mini tournament. Yes. How do you, what do you, what do you think of that whole situation? Um, it was unfortunate. You know, I don't think Dom was vindictively trying to use a performance enhancing supplement but you know the rules are set in place for the people that are and you know it made a mistake but it um you know yeah just be more careful but i mean you can't really i mean i, I was just you know at, at this point you know at, at the point in the trial process that we were in it's you really can't think about other people you got to think i mean i was planning on going and wrestling and and beating whoever stepped in front of me so you know once he was off the table, I mean, I just, you know, next guy up. So I just knew that, you know, whatever, 
I kind of had the whatever it takes mentality, so hopefully, you know, I was just trying to be ready to go. 2016, and this is like a hard question to answer. Obviously, you guys are going to be committed, you know, um, barring like serious in in injuries. But 2016, how do you like ensure you, I mean, can you even plan this far out for 2016? What am I going to do to get on the Olympic team? Can you even really plan for that? Or is that something that's just kind of, and either one of you can answer this. I, I don't even know how you, how do you even approach thinking about 2016? We don't. I mean, we, I, we still have Budapest this year. We have, you know, an Open and a Trials and a, a World Championship next year. We have Las Vegas World Championships in 2015 at home. That was and sweet. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that can happen in three years. And there's a lot of stuff that can, uh, that, I mean, that can happen in one year. We don't know. We don't know what tomorrow has in store, so I, I, I really just when I when I when I start looking forward to stuff, I tend to miss my experiences. That you know, so I'm really trying to just stay in the moment, enjoy every day, enjoy the training, enjoy the practice, and try to win the worlds this year, and then try to win the worlds next year, and then you know go from there. But taking it a year by year, and even heck, month by month, week by week. So uh, that's kind of my my mentality, because because the Olympic, I mean. This World Championships is very important. Obviously, we all want to make the Olympic team, but until that Olympic team is in front of us and the process is ready and it's tangible and we're ready to go, we're not necessarily thinking about it. We're thinking about winning the Worlds this year. It's crazy, people's perspective of wrestling. It's like, what have you done for me lately? If you haven't won something lately, they think you've fallen off or something. People ask me, like, um, someone asked me, uh, and it, well, his fault or anything, he said, what? Why this year? You know, why, why, why this year? Why is this year different? Or, or why, why do you choose this year to be the number one guy? What? <laughs> what? I've been training to be the best in the world since like 2004. Things. You know? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to. You're, that's what I want to say. You're on as, your fourth cycle. As soon as, as soon as I'm on. Is that his fourth I, cycle? Do you realize that? As soon as I'm wrestling at the U.S. That's Open, impressive. as soon as I'm wrestling at the U.S. Open, I am trying to be the best in the country, and then as soon as I'm wrestling internationally, which started actually in 2009, is when I, I think I wrestled overseas. Or no, 2004 I went to Beijing, and I wrestled the Beijing Olympian, I, I actually beat. He had a, a couple weeks later, he got fifth or sixth in the Olympics in Athens. Um, you were on your, you are on 04, 08, 12, and now yeah. 2016. So you're on your fourth cycle. But the, but the, point, like, the point is, the point man. is, I'm, it's crazy, the, isn't the it? point is, we're training to be the best in the world every single day. What thrown, what's thrown at us, or what, what, uh, hand we're dealt is not in our control. God is in, in control of the universe and every choice out there. So it's like we're trying to do as best we can. It's like I didn't choose to tear a disc in my back and then not make the world team and then mess up and not make the Olympic team. I didn't choose to do that. I didn't want to do that. I mean, I made mistakes and, you know, certain injuries happened or whatever, not to make any excuses, but people get dealt a whole lot of different hands. And uh, you just have to do the best that you can with the situations in front of you. 